Sometimes we gotta go through hell to get to heaven, yeah? If you don't, if you're afraid and you wanna go through hell, you might never get to heaven. Just right behind it. it puts a lot of hair, I don't know. And right now we're just going. Thing, the fingers, yeah. Because after one of those fingers is not getting enough circulation, some stuff in there, and I can feel it, the whole hand is weaker, yeah. And if I don't do nothing about it, it will get worse to go up and spread. So I gotta follow these patterns right here, right here, and there, and there. On the wrist, around the ankles, around the elbows. Ah, you gotta put some chi in it sometimes and get a little upset with it, you know? Go through that hell. This body is that transportation, you know? It's not really me. This is not me. This is my transportation. I am the one telling what to do. I, who's in control? You know, I am in control. I'm not the hands, I'm not the body, but I'm telling what to do. So I am in charge, pretty much, of the body. Which is, you know, I want a nice one so I can transform myself whatever I want to go. It's like driving a back car every day. For 34 years, people have an injury. And they don't do nothing about it, you know? I did the same mistakes. I I got hurt myself when I was younger many times and I didn't really do nothing about it. It didn't go away really. It kind of stayed with me and slow me down, cut my abilities. And just, you know, overall having a bad mood. I mean look, if I sit in the bed and I don't do anything, I say now watch TV, yeah? Then I forget I have the body, so that just told you I'm not the body, yeah, because I don't feel any pain, but then if I'm going to go and do something, let's say if I want to pick up something, a kid, a dog, and then I feel the pain, or persona because I need to use the body, the body is telling me it's hurting, so my transportation, my, my, my locomotion, it's telling me something is wrong. But if I go lay down again in the lazy couch, then I forget again about all these pains, you know? So I am not the body, but I need the body to do what I have to do, yeah? And that clarifies and cleans all this, who we are with the body, with the soul. No, we're not the body, because then you forget many times you have a body. But you don't forget you are there. So you know you're there, but you forget you have the hands, the head, whatever, the ears. You don't sometimes you forget you have this love over here till you touch it. And you're like, oh yeah. I am inside of this body. I can touch my own love, yeah? It's all caught up over here because I'm working. But that's clarified. We need the body to do this and that. Like I got the ears to hear, my eyes to see, they're all connected inside. There's somebody inside who's using all this. Like, if I want to close my eyes, I close my eyes. You know? The eyes are not closing in themselves. I'm telling them. It's me telling them to close the eyes. And if I got to shut the brain off, I can shut the brain off and stay here. I don't think of nothing, yeah? So I don't need the brain to be here, at least if I wanted to do something. If I wanted to look to one rock, really focus on it, and I'm going to put all my focus on that, and my eyes can actually almost zoom in that and see it, yeah? But if I don't want to, I don't want to. So who's in charge? 
I am in charge, yeah? And this I am is not in an egoistic way, like, oh yeah, I'm in charge. No, I'm only talking about this because I have it with me. I can't. The only way I get away from it if I'm going to die and go in another body or I'm going to become a butterfly or something else, yeah? Then I still have to know I have the wings and I got to keep them, you know, away from some environment, some water and stuff like that. There's some big fishes on this river I keep seeing in front of me. 